Welcome back to The Wasteland, my friends. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little look at the Fallout TV show coming from Amazon. And we're just going to look at some pictures, do some speculation, talk about the release date, that kind of stuff. So uh, let's get right into it. For all my non-Americans, the release date is going to be April 12th, 2024, which is actually very soon. Um, it's about five months from now, and I'm just so hyped. But Wastelord, why are you so hyped? Every single video game movie turns out to be ass. That is true, but I have one statement. Four, Four big, big guys. guys. And that's just one reason why I'm hyped. This looks so freaking good. The attention to detail is dead on. That looks like real power armor to me. The helmets look slightly different from the normal T60, but um, I'm imagining if you look at the actual T60 compared to the head when you put it on um, power armor, it's actually not level to the eyes, so of course they had to make adjustments there so you could actually, the actors could actually see, because that's a, that's not CGI, that's a real prop right there. Now let's look at all these images, analyze them, see what we can find, and just observe the beauty. Starting with the first worst pictures, and then I'm going to go to the best pictures. So we got two vault dwellers looking really good with vault suits. One's a ghoul with a cigarette. The ghoul looks mediocre. Um, not bad, just mediocre. Um, vault 33, which is going to take place on the west coast. Those vault suits look dead on. That new Coca-Cola bottle looks dead on, and that looks like a spinoff of the Pip-Boy 3000 Mark IV. So it's probably going to be the 3000 model, but um, probably not the 4 variant. Next up, we got the most tourist-looking, um, dummy-looking hat that I've ever seen. That cowboy hat looks atrocious. I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if that's the ghoul character. I can't really tell. Those look like the arm braces are on, and then it also looks like he's wearing gloves, so I can't tell if that's a ghoul or not. He's also really tall. Um, and then there's the same guy from the last picture. The vault, which looks phenomenal, and then the vault desks, which also look amazing, and then the um, the Vault 33 logo in the back there behind him. And then easy to miss is that lunchbox and that laser rifle, and then what looks like a, he's holding a fusion cell in his hand as well. It's really hard to see what's going on here just because of the blurriness of the photo, but we got like a foggy, smoky room, an NCR flag. This is definitely in a vault, so I wonder if they're teaching him about the NCR, like the NCR conquered him, and then they're like, yeah, the NCR is the good guys. Um, and then we got the background, it's got like the fan, what might be a pipe pistol, but I doubt it just because it's in a classroom, along with that fusion cell in the back, that's probably not a fusion cell. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, it's kind of really hard to tell, but it looks like the NCR has conquered a vault. Next up we got a vault suit that looks really great, along with like a, a ritualistic kind of scarf thingy going on here. It looks like it's from Arroyo to be honest with you. So this guy must be like the leader, the chief, you know, whatever's going on here. And he's like the, you know, he could be like the pastor or something like that. Um, not sure what this is, but this seems pretty dope. I want to see where this plays because vault tech and uh, ritualistic kind of stuff sounds really dope. So that's interesting to see. Right here we have a promotional image. This is obviously AI. If you look at the cars, the woman underneath vault boy's right fist, the nuclear power plants merged within the mountain. Um, but other than that, I actually really like how it looks. It looks really cool. looks really fallouty. Um, people are saying it's kind of lazy. Yeah, but if you looking at the other pictures, I'm not worried about it at all because they are so high attention to detail. Um, but the Vault Boy himself, he has a Vault 33. says Los Angeles where dreams come true. And it's overall a really cool image. And, um, you know, it's just another piece that we can look at and kind of speculate what the show is going to be like. Ella Purnell right here. She's a starring actor in the show. She's got her cut lip, and then she's also got a dusty vault suit, um, as well as a little armor is what it seems like to be on her elbow. She's stepping out of Vault 33, you can see in the back, and she's stretching out her hand. Um, as well as she's wearing a backpack, which appears to be vault -Tec. it's blue with leather, and then it's also got that vault -Tec water bottle. I don't know why she's got a cut and um, a dusty vault suit. Maybe that has to do with something, you know, exploring the vault, or she went into it and it's coming out, something like that. But it's just strange to think that her vault suit is dusty and she does have a cut. Um, we'll have to find out in the show. I'm pretty bad at recognizing faces, but I think this is the same chick right here. It probably is. And she's got like a crazy looking terminal straight out of Fallout, I might add. I don't know what that blue, black eye looking thing is. I have no clue what that could be. Um, but it does look like it's something out of Fallout. Maybe you grab it by the handles on the side and look through it or something. I don't know. Um, and then we got this vault guy behind her with his pit boy that's lit up with the little vault boy thing. And then, you know, a blackboard with some miscellaneous stuff on it. Vault 33 logo in the back and some vault dwellers in the background as well. In this image, we got Ella, the vault dweller. Um, I've seen this image before, but it wasn't all done up like this. It was the same area in town. Um, I don't know what happened to that image. It's like gone. I can't find it. But here we got like a megaton style um, airplane entrance. 
Um, we have the you know refinery things in the background, and if you look very far back, you can see an abandoned city. Um, what looks like to be like shrubbery and kind of um, foliage coming around the walls of the city, and we got like it says super or something like that. Stupor, I don't know. It looks like a super duper mart sign to be honest, but like redone. Um, down in the below, we got like you know it's hard to see, but there's stuff going on. But this is the same chick that was exiting the vault, Ella Purnell. She's got the vault suit, same thing, the armor, um, and then the backpack as well. Here's Walton Goggins, another starring actor, um, with some random person behind him, the building sign that we've seen in the previous image behind him, and he looks like a cowboy kind of style, and that actually looks like a good hat. Like, this guy looks sick as hell, I'm not going to lie. i um, pretty excited. This looks pretty cool, so we'll see how his character is going to work. Um, they're going to definitely meet each other. They're in the same town. He's probably looking at her right now, to be honest with you. Right here, this is looking pretty sick. It looks like he's reaching for his gun. That's Aaron Moten in the back. T60 freaking power armor. Beautiful. That weathering is so damn good. That looks like a dope Brotherhood of Steel symbol. He's got the T60 helmet. Like I said, slightly different looking helmet, but it still looks very, very similar. The armor itself looks dead on. The helmet is only the only thing slightly off. And then that little um, like rangefinder, whatever you want to say, is down. Everyone's favorite gun from Fallout, that assault rifle right there. And then the sign in the back, it's got like the radiation symbol and all that nonsense. But that is a really dope looking image. Right here we got the inside of a vertebrate. Not much to point out other than the minigun. Just because if you've played Fallout 4 and you've gotten inside a vertebrate, I don't know what to say they could change. It's literally dead freaking on. This is amazing. Um, wow. Look at this attention to detail, folks. Amazing. Right here we got a Pridwin style airship from the Brotherhood of Steel. Looks slightly different on the top, but so effing cool. Um, oh my god, it looks so good. I, I can't stress this enough. That is such a hard image. It looks so dope. As you can see, they're definitely in a desert environment. They got missiles, like the, the backs of bombs or missiles, whatever you want to say, um, on the little cart right there to the right. Um, a vertebrate in the distance underneath that mountain you can see. It's like spewing up dust and stuff. It looks so cool. And then we got vertebrates flying, of course. Um, there's three vertebrates in this total in this image right here. Um, and then we got all these people that look like probably brotherhood trainees, you know, aspirants or whatever you want to call them. Um, they look like they're training. They're like, whoa, the brotherhood, they look kick ass. I want to join them, which I can't blame them because, you know, you get power. Anyways, really dope. Here we have Walton Goggins, the ghoul, looking like the main character. He looks so sick right here. I do not know what those shells are on his um, chest. Either shotgun shells or really damn big rifle rounds. Um, I'm thinking shotgun shells. On his back, probably a lever action shotgun, if I'm right, about those shells. And then he's holding something silver in his hand. I zoomed in everything I couldn't tell. Um, leather trench coat, you know, looking dope. Background junk and stuff. And then you can see Nuka Cola posters in the very, very back. And um, just looking like a scene straight out of from Fallout. So freaking cool right here. This, this image goes hard. Here we got a vault tech looking area, um, you know, abandoned houses in the background. This looks like something you'd see on the East Coast, like Fall 3. Um, looking dope cars. I love how they look. People were saying, oh my God, those aren't Fallout cars. Those are just 50s. Okay, come on. Play Fallout 1 and 2 and then come back and tell me that. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, yeah, those are 50s cars. I know they're not Fallout cars, but they're Fallout cars. Let's be real here. They look badass. I have no complaints with the vehicles whatsoever, especially if you actually have played like 1 and 2. Um, looking badass. Right here we have a strange thing. It's the Vault-Tec logo right with like the atomic, the atomic symbol behind it. And then it says Hawthorne. Um, I'm not really sure what this is. I'm assuming it's a medical laboratories, a division of Vault-Tec Corporation. But that's just speculation. I'm not sure what it could actually be. Um, very strange to see what it is. Right here we got the Red Rocket, a absolutely Fallout looking car. Posters in the back. You can look really closely and you'll see the posters on them. And it's like, wow, damn, this is insane detail. Um, the dusty, you know, desert looking. I'm assuming they're going to change that back to CGI because the front is desert, the back's not. Um, but you look at this attention, the detail, the gas stations, it says Red Rocket. Um, you got that, like, the miscellaneous tools and stuff, the power armor display in the back, the power armor chassis crafting area. And uh, just look at the detail, it's so freaking good. Right here, you can see that they were working on the Red Rocket sign. And then in the background, you know, you got the milk um, station, the Nuka Cola vending machine, the car. The power armor chassis. What looks like maybe a hooded person in the very, like right behind that car. I could be wrong. Um, and then a red rocket truck in the very back, which just looks so good. This entire thing is so amazing. And I'm so excited to see how it's going to turn out. Right here, um, this doesn't even look like an image from the set or the show. It just looks like I was put in Fallout. 
and then I took a picture and then I teleported back to show you guys this image. I don't know what to say. Look at the weathering, the signs, the cars, the desert. What else to say? Same area, just a different picture. Look at the vehicles, they look so good. I love that metal looking Mad Max vehicle in the back and then you got the windows boarded up by signs and metal. This place looks so good. To protect these gentlemen's privacy and just to make them look better, I added me over them. But as you can see here, we got like a sandbag wall on top of that metal truck we were looking at earlier. And then if you look closely, they're actually both holding, um, one's holding a skeleton. The guy that I covered mostly is holding a skeleton skull. Um, and then you go, you know, in the back, you got all the carts and then the metal just looking so good. Another shot of the Super Duper Mart with the boarded up windows. Right here we got like an agriculture looking um, vault. I don't know what's going on here, but you got like the old house. Maybe it's two props in one. Maybe it is an agriculture vault. But now that I think about it, it's probably just two separate sets. But I don't know why that wall would be coming over here. So we'll have to find out. But this is Vault 32. It's kind of hard to tell. It's kind of a grainy image. It is a leak. So looking sick. Here's another shot of the agriculture looking vault. Um, it might be united with the agriculture. It might be like a whole thing underground or even might be above ground and it's like a vault city kind of thing. But um, I don't think they're two separate props. I feel like they're going to be one and the same. Still in the same vault, we got like a kid's area. You know, you got the cribs and then you got the rockets, just like every single vault tech um, or even Fallout themed kids thing. And then if you look closely, you can see on the wall it says 32. So this is actually still inside the same vault. And it's also kind of nasty on the walls. It's got like rust or some kind of leaks that were happening. Here's an outside of a vault room, and just look at these walls. These are straight out of Fallout 4. They absolutely nailed this. This is amazing. But um, this looks like it's a classroom. You got the backboard in the very back of it, and then you also got like the, um, you know, the desks all overturned and some paper. Looks like some kind of thing happened here, maybe like a skirmish or an escape. Something happened here, though. Here we got a hallway from a vault straight from Fallout 4. You can see like the metal on the top with like the pipes and then the wooden paneling. Everything is exactly how it is in Fallout 4. So their attention to detail is insane. Here we got another shot of the vault's hallway. You can see there's a storage room on the left. The very top of the picture is a fluorescent light, like the ones that we have in Fallout 4 on the um, Vault 88 creation thing. And then you can see in the very back, we have that same school room, like the nursery, whatever you want to call it. And then there's a yellow box. I don't know what that yellow box in the wall is, but. Everything from this looks straight out of Fallout 4, and it's amazing. That's going to be it for today, folks. If you like this type of content, be sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you want to see more. And don't worry, I'm going to get into more details of the Fallout show, such as, um, you know, like what's going on, what kind of lore you should probably know. I've heard it is canon. I'm going to re research more into that. But yeah, all that kind of stuff. If you want to see more of that, be sure to subscribe. And with all of that said, may the wasteland treat you with peace and prosperity.